What's the deal with the carrot? Okay, try it. You gotta peel it. Okay, well, I don't want to peel the carrot. You peel the carrot. Oh, well, I peeled it. You peeled it, but you gotta do it on camera because otherwise, why am I filming for it? You gotta okay. show me how your tools work. So easy, it's amazing. It goes right through. My favorite part, though, is that you're peeling it and it's yeah. really thin. Uh huh. It's not actually cutting the carrot, it's thin. Um, and this is our cheese knife. It has holes in it so it doesn't stick to the cheese, hard or soft. Do you have any cheese? Um, well, I cut potatoes with it because you can oh. tell the same way. It's just hard and it doesn't stick. It goes right through. Yeah, but potatoes don't taste like cheese. <laughs> no. So I can't try it. <laughs> tell me about the big knife. Like this big fat knife. This is a cleaver. Um, it's oh. a lot of steel. It's very heavy. This is for chicken and chicken and like that. It's really good. Wait. Bye. Take care. What's <laughs> your name? Justine. Bye-bye. Bye. What's the name of the company? Petco. But how do you spell that? Cutlery, the world's finest. How do you spell it? Those uh, websites. C U T C L. Okay. And where are we? We're in Woodstock, New York. And why are you here? To look here. Oh well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> fairy tale that we wrote. I have a fairy tale too. There you go. Oh, I get it. Here. But tell me about the fairy outfit. Well, I'm a dragonfly. I'm a fairy. I'm a fairy. They call me dragonfly. I'm a fairy. I'm a fairy. Which war? There's a lot of them going on in the world right now. All wars. Stop all wars, dear. I know. You assume people think it's Iraq, but you never know. The next one. Stop the big one.
The IRC also is not taking into account that all of the surrounding counties, Westchester County, Orange County, Putnam County, all the county executives say there is no evacuation plan. Any of us here know the Bear Mountain area? We've all been around Bear Mountain. Can you imagine hundreds of thousands of people trying to escape a radioactive accident in that area and all coming up here? The NRC does not take that into account. I want to make mention of two things. One, uh, uh, Congressman uh, John Hall and our own Maury Pinchy have introduced legislation calling for an independent safety assessment, an ISA, separate from uh, the, the money interest and the NRC um, that is, is trying to push this thing forward, saying let's have an independent safety assessment based on fact and not uh, nuclear money interest. That's very important. We also have a very good friend, the State Attorney General Andrew Cuomo, who just uh, July 13th, just a couple of days ago, is asking federal officials to include uh, issues of the evacuation plans, like I mentioned, issues of terrorism and density, all things that the NRC is not taking into consideration. Andrew Cuomo, our Democratic State Attorney General, is asking the NRC to do that. That's major. I'm going to leave you with this, and this is food for thought on how the NRC goes about uh, granting a license. Again, Indian Point is asking for a re-license to operate their unsafe nuclear power plant for another 20 years. And I'm not going to throw this in the paper. Uh, the General Accounting Office of the United States Government set up a fake dummy company uh, to buy the low-level radioactive materials for scientific purposes. The NRC gave them licenses to buy low-level radioactive materials without ever meeting them, without going over any of their paperwork, and gave them, licensed them enough radioactive material to build a dirty bomb. This is the same NRC that's going to be looking at the application for the worst run nuclear power plant, 30 miles from New York City, 50 miles from Kingston. And when things go bad there, you know all the people, environmental refugees, are coming up here. So again, this is food for thought. I do ask everyone, there's some uh, fantastic information that my friend and colleague Remy has up front. I do have my cards up front. Uh, I often go down to Indian Point. Uh, if people are interested for more information, you go to riverkeeper.org. Riverkeeper is an outstanding environmental organization. They have all their stuff up on their website. If you're interested in finding out, getting more involved, uh, please, I've got my cards up front. They're on that table, all my contact information. And if you need someone to speak tonight, you can just take a bunch of them, write the number down on the back. That's a joke, I'm sorry. But please, it, it, I want to appeal to everyone to please get involved, do your part. Again, as Woods doctors, we do have a responsibility to make the world a better place and we can start right here by stopping the real Hudson Valley Hall, the relicensing of Indian to your power plant. My contact information is up front. Please contact me in any way that I can be of service to you on this issue or any other environmental issue. I thank you very much for your time. Abby, <laughs> I'm Ruth of All Evil, and here from New York City is Colin. <laughs>